This video is going to be showing us how to use VLOOKUP function to look up the names of staff as well as their salary and their department. So from this table, you notice that this has a drop-down list that is part of the things so we learn how to do as well as when this drop-down list is clicked and the name changes, the salary also changes as well as the department. How about that? So this can actually be achieved using what? The VLOOKUP function so we are going to be replicating this in this same table here so let us get to it excel made easy the first thing you need to do is to use data validation to add this drop down list in this particular cell so how do we do that head over to your data menu tab then you should go under validation click on validation and it should bring up this for you the next thing you have to do is to click on this drop down and you should see list select list and it should ask you where do you want the source of the list to come from. So I actually want my source of list to come from this name column. Is that right? So you select the source and you hit enter on your keyboard. So your source is selected for you. If you already know the source, you can type it or you can select it as the case may be. So after all that, you make sure you tick this ignore blank and you tick what? In cell drop down. Then you can go ahead to hit what okay now you notice that our drop down list is now up and we can select any name based on what we want to achieve now the next is to add our vlookup functions just like we have here so to activate the vlookup function you call up the vlookup function so vlookup and it says what the lookup value is this comma then the table array so the table array is this whole table here is all right so you hit what comma then the column index number what is the column for salary so in this table we have column one column two and column three so the column index number is what three comma then the type of match is actually exact match so you click what false and you close up your bracket and hit what enter so here is trying to tell you that Gizel salary is what 2000 so once i change to betty to tell me that betty salary is what 2500 so we are going to also use vlookup to find the department for each staff also so hitting equal to vlookup and you should select that so the lookup value is still name then the table array is still this table is all right comma then the column index number so the column index number for department as far as this table is concerned is two because we have one two is all right so you type in what two then the range lookup is what false is all right so you click false as the case may be then you close it up and hit what enter so betty is in the department of what hr so i always advise my viewers to always have the bigger picture so always have the bigger picture in mind so this is actually an example boy to help you to work with hundreds and thousands of data in the outside world if you have any question on this go ahead to drop it in the comment section below also subscribe to our youtube channel to get more content like this our videos is actually dedicated to office workers students and teachers who want to use excel to make their work very very easy go ahead to watch the video on your screen right away that shows you how to summarize your data using some excel functions excel made easy